Hello, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> Can you imagine if that was the entire video? Or if I just went in slow mo? <laughs> Welcome to Wednesday. No. Thursday. Thursday. It's Thursday. Wednesday today. It's Wednesday right now. But it's Thursday mm -hmm. for you guys. So today, as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, the very interesting thumbnail, yes. we have a big old bins haul for yes, you guys. Yes, we do. And it's oh. both of us. I finally, have missed once the again. bins. I know. I missed the bins so bad. Well, and I miss being able to do hauls together I because I feel like, I don't know. It's we just not the same like when it's alone. Yes, we went to the bins. <sighs> we went on Monday together mm -hmm. same old same old like i go to the gym then we meet after that type of situation yeah. the valentines have a little sneak peek and they know kind of the the zhuzh what happened some of the things we got because they got a thrift with us at they the bins yesterday exclusive insider look they know a couple of these things but definitely not all so if you are a valentine stick around because there's quite a bit that we didn't show. This was a pretty good bins trip. I feel like this was really good bread and butter. So Which I feel like I just did my big yearly like spring clean out. There's one, two, three, four, five, six bags sitting in front of me. That is Mike playing with a toy. <laughs> I see yeah, I and he's like, been crinkling in the that? background. It is one of Mike's favorite toys. It's a bat. And conveniently all of his favorite toys crinkle, which yeah. is wonderful when you try to film. So this is like a good kind of like replenish of my like not crazy expensive things, but just like good solid things that we'll sell. I told the Valentines in my intro on the thrift with us that my goal was to kind of finally start somewhat looking at spring. I think that people are starting to actually shop for spring because I think we're all kind of getting in that mood because even here it has been quite nice lately. It has been super nice. Today was like 27, nice. but this was our cold day. And honestly in Minnesota in February at 27, <laughs> it's not It's that pretty bad. easy. It's not that bad. It's yeah. supposed to be like pushing 40 at some point this week, yeah. which is going to feel Yes, so it's I've been be in a slightly spring mood, though I haven't been buying any clothes for it. We have been getting some like gardening tools. Yeah, and like that, get kind some of fun stuff. Thinking about what plants we're gonna plant and stuff. Mm -hmm. So we're definitely moving into that mindset. So oh, I was wanting so nice. to start picking up some spring stuff. And luckily I did accomplish that goal. I did yes. find some spring stuff. So I I'm quite satisfied. Mm -hmm. I do have some winter stuff too. So it's honestly, this is like the perfect trip for like a transition because I have mm -hmm. both. So we're gonna jump into it. As usual, we're gonna start with the things and the miscellaneous shoes, handbags, everything like that. And then we're gonna move on to the clothes. Mm -hmm. And as per usual, even though it's been so long now, so I guess I'll remind you, we're gonna go like five, five, five. We each take turns showing stuff. Yes. It's been a hot minute. Since. It has been a minute. <laughs> Can you imagine if I forgot? Yeah. I just so start do selling I show stuff the brain I tank or do I just talk like, about it? Do you want me to just <laughs> show it or do I need to talk about it first? I'll have Debbie train you. Because oh, she did a haul. Oh, <laughs> that would be so funny. Okay, let's address the spooky, spooky, scary sunglasses in the room that you guys saw in the thumbnail. Mm -hmm. So these sunglasses are Maui Jim. I saw this case and I was like, I hope there's some Maui Jims in there. And sure enough, I opened it up and there were. These Maui Jims, <laughs> let's just say that the woman was not very talented in the realm of vision. No, she, she was blind as a bat, man. Like, she couldn't see a dang these thing. These are physically painful to look through. They look, oh, they look good though. my gosh. Like, Let me see how strong I, compared it to my prescription. Hurts. My prescription's like weakish. And I don't have one. So those are painful. Ow, as I stab myself in the eye. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, you cannot even like see the, like I can't see the I'm phone I'm trying to figure out what she was. I'm assuming it's a she, but they were like nearsighted or farsighted. This know, is... But those are some thick glasses. Yep. So anyway. Maui Jim, if you don't know, very, very expensive sunglasses. I can sell them and just say like, just get the lens switched because that is some, for super expensive brands like Maui Jim, like there are people out there mm -hmm. who will do that. Next mm -hmm. up is a Tokidoki Hello Kitty scarf. Tokidoki and Hello Kitty stuff is like really expensive if it's genuine. And that's the weird thing is like, there's a lot of not a lot of bootleg yeah 2009 this is a 2009 this scarf it's embroidered here and honestly i mainly got this thinking of like depop because i could see oh, this yeah. doing pretty good there's a lot of like hello kitty people otherwise i will mm. still put it on posh then we have this hat and i was very confused by this hat i mean it looked really nice feels really nice mm -hmm. and i was like this has to be something and there's this weird brand tag in it that says Alex Iliary. Oh, who Alex Iliary? Alex Iliary? And I was like, what is that? And I Googled it, and honestly, Google wasn't too much help either. 
There was like one listing for Aritzia, but it didn't say elixiliary, so I don't even know how it came up. But then I re-looked even closer at the fabric tag, which by the way, this is an alpaca wool blend. Nice. And I can tell this is an Aritzia label because it has the style number and all the same kind of- Does it say auxiliary? Information, no, elixiliary. Alxiliary? Al Alxil- if y'all know what that means, please <laughs> shed a little light because clearly we are so, struggling over here in the hat language department. What I'm trying to say is this is Aritzia. <laughs> so I'll take it. Perfect. Nice. We got some coach boots. Boots. Good old turn lock coach boots. They've got some heel wear, but that's okay. It's not that noticeable, especially if you were just like walking in them. Yeah. Size eight and a half. Goodwill had prices at 13. It's probably why they didn't sell, especially yeah. with like heel wear. Mm -hmm. Really? $13? I don't know about that one. If I'm yawning a lot today, I did so much work in the storage unit. <laughs> Then anyway. I got this really cute pair of flat loafers and these are actually by Talbot's. I've never tried Talbot's shoes. These are so cute. But Talbot's and and Taylor actually make like really nice shoes. Like if I find them, they're usually- And they have like leather soles Yes, too. they're usually quite nice. They're super nice. So these are size eight and I think they're really good for like boat season. They're good for like beaches. Oh, the lake people. They're, mm -hmm. they're also just a good classic like gingham kind of spray shoe. So I grabbed that. I have a kind of older style coach, which if you don't know, Coach is bringing back the like tacky C <laughs> monogram because they're really trying to like hone in on Gen Z. And so they're <laughs> bringing back all those collections. So I am going to sell this myself. I like this chain with all the like coach tags attached mm -hmm. to it. This is in really good shape. So I was like, mm -hmm. well, why would I skip it? Like the inside's clean. It's mm -hmm. a factory one. I don't know. I and I think like those canvas ones are kind of hard to find like decent because the yeah, canvas shape, is always just like shot. And my last miscellaneous is oh. this spaceship. Look at this. Look so, at how pretty this is. <laughs> first off, this is a lamp. Second off. I love lamp. I would like to tell you guys that I actually am this week doing a second channel thrifted home decor and furniture haul on the second channel. So second channel, it's on the second channel, it's decor, it's thrifted. That is linked below. I've been saying it for like two weeks, but I'm actually gonna do it. I'm gonna film it tomorrow. It's gonna go up on Friday. This will be in it. And I'm gonna show you what this is. So this is a lamp and this is a post-modern so lamp, which must mean like 70s or 80s. So modernism happened like after mid-century. Think like we invented like multiple plastics. So, like so we 90s. can make like funky like 70s groovy chairs. Post-modern is like 80s, 90s. Hmm. Modernism, but it's like kind Post. of, <laughs> yeah, we go back to like natural materials. Everything is like granite. Everything was like, Tanzanite. This, I, I, I mean, it stood out because I just think it's gorgeous. It is it's pretty. so funky, it's so cool, and I really like it. Then I did a reverse image search. That's when I found out that it was like a postmodern style, which love. Then I found out that it's worth like $300, but I'm keeping it. Then I found out that this is actually a touch lamp. So if you plug it in, you can touch it anywhere, and it will- and it Switch oh. brightness levels. It's so this is this is gonna go me. on our bar downstairs when we get it, and I'm absolutely, absolutely obsessed with I it. I can't wait. I'm so excited oh, for it. It's, I think it's adorable. It's so cute. I'm just gonna like dust it. My first thing is a thing that I needed. I don't have a pair of gloves, and for living in Minnesota, I <laughs> don't know even. why. Yeah, literally. So I found this pair of North Face gloves. They're just like the nice little brown fleece ones. I threw them in the washing machine. They are great, they fit wonderfully, and they will serve their purpose come next winter when I inevitably realize that I also don't have a pair of gloves. This is a really cute little Madewell bag. I have some stuff in it, but I'll show it to you how nice and stuffed. It has a little bit of wear on some of the pony hair, which I feel like I see from these kinds of bags a lot, but it's not that big of a deal. I think this is called the transport tote, if I'm not I mistaken. But it does also have the like longer crossbody to it. And I was like, you know what? 30, $35, somebody's gonna love it. Mm. Somebody is going to love her. This is another little bag. This was in the like throwback bin, which is one of my favorites to look in. It's just this really cute, what does it say? Sea tracks, think train. I think she was worried about um, driving onto the train tracks, apparently. Really cute little, just like kind of gold, little metallic crossbody. It does have a little bit of wear on the back from use, but this is a hobo bag. I was gonna get And I feel like I have not found anything hobo in a millennia. It has been so long, but this leather is still really nice. I don't really think I'm gonna put too much effort into like cleaning this because it's super cute. And hobo's always like worn. Like, yeah. I got two pairs of shoes. This is one of them, a really cute little pair of Seychelles. 
I love these. They're just like a, I almost said red leather. When I was in high school theater, we always had to do red leather, yeah. yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. And these are conveniently yellow leather. They're adorable. They are a size nine and they're like brand new. Like she literally never wore them. They're super cute. And I think like going into spring, summer, a nice cute little sandal would be nice for somebody. could be anthro. I could see it. Oh, I 100% could too. These I got strictly because of the color. So these are this like crazy kind of like Jetsons pink little pump. Oh my gosh. Pump. Oh my gosh. It takes Ow, off. That actually really hurt. <laughs> it takes anyway. off like a Jetson spaceship. It's <laughs> the Jetson like robot made. Um, but they are Stuart Weitzman. Most Stuart Weitzmans I find at the bins, I send them straight to the real rail and I get or, my six dollars. Or just don't even Or I just leave them because they don't really do that good. Um, but these I loved. The slingback I thought was really cute. I like this little like open toe moment for like the spring and the summer. They're like a cute little Y2K situation and the color is wonderful. That's weird because like it almost has like a metallic or like glitter. <laughs> I Look, think but it isn't. Like, it it just... reminds me of, um, and this is kind of a niche reference, back when you would go to those like 50s style like diner oh, yeah. restaurants and they had those like crazy like atomic like George glittery um, like booths. What's that reminds me of? Okay, so I'm gonna start off the clothes. Oh, okay, and... well if you drop them on yourself, you will be injured. <laughs> and bad. I'm gonna start off with some kids clothes. I don't know what it is lately, but the kids clothes. I feel like there was like a couple weeks like a year ago or like eight months ago where there was a bunch of good kid stuff too. Oh, right. when I found that like skull cashmere Oh, I was gonna say, when you found a baby Dior. It's just all, yes. Mm -hmm. It's just like randomly there'll be seasons where there's like good baby stuff. Yeah. So this is a really cute tie-dye kids like sweater. And this I is actually that. by Autumn Cashmere. And I didn't even know that they made kids clothes. Dang. So this actually is cotton because they do have different lines that aren't just cashmere. This is a size 10, which means- 10 T. I don't know. How old are you? 10 you? T. I almost said, how old are you when you're 10? <laughs> These are freaking adorable. These are so cute. So obviously we are past the season of where this will work, but if someone has a kid and just wants to prepare, they can buy them. And so this is Mini Bowden. I believe that's a newer Mini Bowden label. Mm -hmm. These are seven to eight year. So adorable, little Santa Claus. And he They're even so has cute. like a fuzzy beard and a Bobble, little... He's got a little pom-pom nose. Nose. So cute. And I keep saying these because there's actually two of them. There's so two. once again, same size, same label. And this one is so adorable. Look at that. Little it's Christmas like tree a little, little snowman, snowman who doesn't look that happy. He's really not excited to be here. Look at him. I like he, that they just gave him like... He likes winter about as much as we do, clearly. He's like, I just want to melt. Like, I just want to spring. I want to be a puddle back. on the ground feeding plants right now. Like, so, I want to go back into the watershed. <laughs> adorable. I'm going to list them separate, but obviously I could totally see someone bundling them. Oh, yeah. If you had yeah. like a twin couple of kiddos of that size. Yeah. Adorable. Then I only found two bottoms. So why don't we just do them? Really? This Ryan gave me, it's a pair of shorts. These are Pilkrow Anthropology and these are the newer pair or label. And these are size 28. They're like all kinds of distress, paint splatter, all kinds of like funky everything to them. They're weirdly missing the two middle buttons. And I assume it's not supposed to be like that. It is I'm a little gonna, interesting that it's all no. distressed, but I doubt it's supposed to be missing buttons. Yeah. Someone could just add them. I'm just gonna list this for like cheap. I thought they were really cute. They are super cute. And really in season. That's obviously. why I just didn't get them. I don't need more projects. Yeah. And Ryan will fix them. He won't just list as, Ryan refuses to list like mm -hmm. as is. He's like, I have to get the stains out. Yeah. I have to re-dye it. I have to like. I'm just meticulous. Can also like. just say like, has a small spot. No, oh, that's too much. <laughs> I can't do that, I'm sorry. Next up is a pair of blue sweatpants and they kind of look unassuming from the front, but they're like a jogger style sweatpants. And then you flip to the back and you know exactly what they are. There These was are one really good rotation where I found like all my good stuff, mm -hmm. including that Aritzia hat. So that's, yeah. that's also why I knew that that had to be something good. So these are Tory Sport, which I honestly don't think I've ever found Tory Sport. I know of it, obviously. I don't think I have either. And I have found it at Nordstrom Rack, but I haven't bought it because of the price. Mm -hmm. But these are size small and they are cotton. I am going to put a shoelace through them. All of our shoelaces for reselling, we left at Debbie's house. So next time I go over, I'm gonna take a few to go of them take back our shoelaces. And then I can fix that. First up for me, I love these. And I'm kind of upset because I know there was more in the bin and I didn't get them. But I'm kind of upset because it's not my size. 
No one thinks this is my size. This is a really cute Victoria's Secret little mint bustier yeah. lingerie top Chimis, kind of a situation. Cam it is like boned. Like it has a little bit of like boning in it. Oh, and I love glitter. that it has these the little movies. like rhinestone shoulder straps. This one is an XL. The color. Yeah. I know, I love this color. Oh, as I completely don't even show it's you the size. Simple. Okay, well, you know what a Victoria's Secret tag looks like. Either way, and I think somebody else got the matching. What are those, like, like things garter. you put on your, like, legs? Garter. Yeah, which irritates me because they do really good when you can get them, like, as a set of three. Because that's, like, uh, that's, 150, 200 bucks. Cool. They're so expensive. I know it's going to be I would have done good. that, too. Then I have a couple of swimming suits. The first one is an adorable little vintage one. I love these, like, crazy 80s, like, vibrant colors. These really pretty little like blue flowers on them and we love a French cut. Super cute. Does this have a brand in it? It is by Catalina. Never heard of her before. I'm but so not into swim that I don't queen. even know what a French cut means. It's like, think like, um, oh, hi. Yeah, think like Jeez. Pamela Anderson or like Baywatch. No, cover your butt. It just goes like up all the way and then comes like right back down. This one's really cute as well. This is an airy size, extra Excellent. large. I gave this to Ryan. Love a cheetah print moment. I gave this to Ryan, and I also would have actually bought this to sell. It's so cute with the like open back for back tattoos. If you are Debbie, super cute and very clean for both of them. No, Debbie does not have a back tattoo. She just says that when something has cut out. She's never had a tattoo ever. Okay, next couple of things. This is a pair of aloe leggings. They do not unfortunately have the interior tag anymore, but there is their little thing. They're a little older because they have the little swoosh over the O, but this is like a pair of the goddess leggings. The and I popular. love these. Yeah, they do so good. The neon on the front, I did hear that neon is like coming back. I was on the American Eagle website the other night, just looking, I wasn't gonna buy anything. And there was like coral, like coral. Everything. Coral blue 52. And I about had a panic attack because I remember when I was a kid and everything my mother owned had a little bit of coral in it. I was like, Janet. I didn't know about that. It was really weird. <laughs> um, this is a really cute pair of shorts. These are Free People Movement. Their little thing is kind of like tucked in these little folds. Um, these are a size large. Which I was quite excited about. And these don't look like they've ever been worn. This tag is super pristine. And the white is super nice and they're very flowy and they have a little built-in um, little liner, which is super nice. Which those are a really new style because I think every time we go to Free People at the Mall of America, yeah, they we have see those. that exactly. And they have them in like 50 trillion different colors. Yes. So next up is actually for me, I'm fairly certain. This is a Nike. I was literally almost gonna say this is a Taco Bell shirt. <laughs> It it's is not. not Taco Bell it's, you'll see why I almost said that. So this is Nike. It's size large, so it'll be a little big on me, but that's okay. And it is this amazing taco printed I love this. shirt. It's and it so says, good. Los Zapatos Mas Frescos. What does that mean? The fresh shoes. The fresh I shoes. love the like tacos in the Nike box. Yes, I know. That's adorable. So now I have a shirt for when we do a Canes live. And I also have a shirt for mm -hmm. when we do a Taco Bell like live mukbang Saturday video. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited about that. Oh my that. gosh, how fun. This I'm not keeping for myself, though I would like to. I just have so many spooky graphic t-shirts. You go through my t-shirts. So this mm -hmm. is a Grim Reaper graphic t-shirt. He's riding like a death horse. Of about a little sort. skeleton horse. And this is by Hot Topic, size large. So I love selling Hot Topic. And mm -hmm. obviously I love their graphic tees myself too. And I like the two skeletons who are like chasing each other in the background. That's They're fun. fun. I love it. So I really like that. I think it's a... Man's? I'm not I certain. think the Hot Topic t-shirts are just for people. Yeah, kind of unisex. You know? This is a new brand to me. It's called Maud Vivant. Maud Mahumanan. Never had heard of it. Size medium, and it caught my attention because it's beautiful. Look at these sleeves. This is so cute. It is really cute. I love this. And so I gave oh, it, it like a, a sweater. I gave it a Google. Yeah, it's knit. The black part's knit. Nice. I gave it a Google, and quite a few pieces by them have been sold at Anthro. And I'd not be surprised if that was. I would Either way, I picked it up because I also just really like it. This has surprised me with how big of a deal this piece is. So this <laughs> oh, is Lord. airy. And though I will sometimes pick up American Eagle, I like do not pick up Airy. Mm -hmm. So it's Airy and it's actually XL, so it's a great size too. As I picked up an Airy piece and two seconds ago. And this is a really cute beige sweatshirt. And down the sides, or down the one side, it says cheers. Cheers. Has patches. Super cute. So cute. Is it patches or is it like? Yeah, it's embroidered. Or it's like terry cloth. It's like little, I don't know what terry they cloth. are. Cute this though. is also from 2022, June 2022. Dang. Very modern. And then I Googled it and apparently this is like a huge 
mommy blogger sweatshirt. There were multiple mommy bloggers posting all kinds oh, of pictures. Oh, the of this. mommy bloggers. So I became very excited that I had that. And so, <laughs> so did the mommy blogger. Then I found this These pair of overalls that are absolutely adorable. They got big pockets. Look at this. And they're really wide leg. They probably would go probably down to your leg. Shin. I want to find these in my size because I love them. So these are a size US 8 and they're actually by Topshop. And I, and again, I like never sell Topshop because I just don't really like to. You can't. People who like overalls, love, I love, overalls. love overalls. I so love overalls. They're so comfortable. I think that Peeing these... is not the easiest, but like, that's okay. I think that these will do good. I think they will too. Next up for me is a couple of other Free People Movement pieces. I found two pairs of leggings. They are both size medium large. This is the cute little black pair. They're like a little cropped style. I almost was like, oh my gosh, is the crotch okay? Crotch is fine. They're this really interesting kind of like multi-directional knit situation. Yeah, but they're cute. And they she have- um, agree with yourself. Yeah. Yeah. And then they have this really nice little like back pocket. Oh my gosh. For like a phone or like whatever else you need to bring with you on your like- Run. Activities. Yeah. Your AirPods. So this is a green pair. These are medium large as well. Kind of plain from the front. These are a little bit longer, I think, than the black ones. These are maybe like a seven eight. So the black ones would be like a capri. But these have this really cute little like venting, vented like dot looking detail that goes down your legs. I think not only cute but very practical. Yeah, I always feel like my knee pits. Sweat. I was gonna I say know, certain anything. workouts, yeah, mm -hmm. your underleg like sweats yes. a lot. These I really wanted to keep, but like money. This is don't know how to pronounce this artist's name exclusively from Anthropology. Either way. These are stunning. And I was kind of upset that I never found a top so I could sell them as like a set. So but cute. look at how cute these freaking pajama pants they are. Like these are adorable. Far. They That's what I thought they were gonna be, honestly. When I grabbed them, they're so cute. Oh, and, and they're, they're like, so soft. They are so Every time you soft. find really pretty anthro pants, they're like viscose or something. So yeah. like they'd wrinkle easy or I stains know. would be hard to get out. That Which would be not. Some things for Depop that aren't really that exciting. This is exciting. This is Wilfred Free from Aritzia. Extra, extra small. Of course. We love the tiny girlies. Um, but this is like a really cute little like knit ruched little like mini dress. It's really soft. Like it would be yeah. super comfortable and she's got a lot of give to it. So maybe it could fit an extra small or small, small or nice, something. Which is nice. Yeah. Oh, I would easily say this could fit like a small extra small. It's super cute. Jack gave this to me to sell. It is a St. Louis Hard Rock Cafe little t-shirt. It says all is one. All is one, which I don't know what that means. And then there's the little like hard rock thing in the front. Super cute. So let's move on to some fall slash winter pieces yes. for me. And now this is something that Ryan threw me. So we're just like back and forth. Look at that. <laughs> Who never says that give you anything? Collaboration. Collaborators. <laughs> <laughs> so this is actually an Obermeyer piece. Oh, and what does it say? Knit especially for you by Obermeyer. Thank it you. It is a ladies medium. Ladies. And this is a really adorable snowflake kind of Y2K mm -hmm. sweater. It's like giving very neck. like free people. Yeah. But like Dale of Norway for free so people. So adorable. And the fabric, it's acrylic and wool. And the back does have one spot right here. But unlike Ryan, I don't really care. I'm just going to list it that way. And someone else can try to get if it out. If it was a sweater, I probably wouldn't try to wash it. Because they but can like... ruin their thing. I don't want to ruin it and not be able to sell it then. Yeah, that would suck. I've never worn a turtleneck in my life. And Ooh. I would probably never. It just is not something that interests me. I have me, a big head for turtlenecks. But I would make an exception for this if it would fit me, but it definitely isn't going to, which this breaks so my cute. heart. This okay, is a vintage, all over print, Halloween, jack-o'-lantern, moon and star. It checks every box for me. Yes. Moon, star print, Halloween. Love. Vintage. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I love this. So I think it's adorable. cute. It's by Basic Editions, which I don't really know who that is. It is a large, a woman's large. Like, if it was modern, it probably could have fit me. Mm -hmm. But since it's not, it's a bit more like probably too short of sleeves for me yeah. and probably just too short of a body for me. There's like some light peeling to it because it's like 170 years old. But otherwise, it's fine. It's and okay. I'm so excited about it. It's so cute. I love this sweater. This is beautiful. And oh. this is why, like, you can never shop seasonally. Like, if I was going in and being like, mm. I'm just looking for spring, I wouldn't have got this. And that would have been a But, tragedy. like, why? So this is Moth Anthropology XL 
Look at how cute this is. And this is one of the cutest moth sweaters I think I've ever seen in my life. So it's got all kinds of zebra and tiger and leopard prints to it. It's color blocked with all these fun colors. The back is also all leopard printed and stuff. so much fun. It's got the trendy big old chunky buttons to it. It's super plush. I'm so pumped. Also like XL Anthro is so uncommon. So cute. Then we have a very academia piece. Yes, we do. This is cabbie. I feel like we haven't talked about an academia piece in a minute. Yeah, because I usually more pick it up in the fall, but I'm definitely yeah. not opposed to it. I love academia. Yeah. Size 10 and obviously the older label, but this is a really, really nice and cool blazer. I it's, do love this. It's actually quite long and it's kind of high, low, a little, but not too bad. No. But I really like the colors and the print of the plaid on it. Like I said, it's also very like soft. It is really soft. And the lining is really nice too. It's oh yeah. Like polyester the lining lines. is very almost like so Hermes. It's like all nice and smooth. -esque. It has like horses and a horse, a horse. Of course. It looks like a scarf. So I was pretty excited about this. And yeah, I'm gonna sell that for sure. Love. And then another fall winter piece, but this is a great one. This is an All Saints piece. And this is a size medium. And it's a really nice cowl neck sweater. With this is very really nice. little pilling and like no rips, no stains. This is in oh, really, really good shape. So nice. I have not looked it up yet, though I do have pictures of it already, which by the time you see this, hopefully a majority is listed. Don't quote me on that. I think every time we do that, you make that face. It's my life. Ryan's a bit slower than me. I, yes. Yeah, there's no excuse. I'm, <laughs> I'm just yeah. slower. That's it. This, I like lost my train of thought. I was thinking about what I was going to say about this and then it just flew out the window. Anyway, this is a really cute little Kate Spade like That's cover Kate up. Kate Spade. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a robe. It's like a robe. But I was like, oh shoot, there's no thing. But it's kind of just like one of those, um, if you are in the Midwest, you know what a Nordic beach is. Those like things all the college girlies wear where it's like really puffy Sherpa and it's kind of just like open and they just kind of wrap themselves with it. That's what this is, but like different. It's this really cute little, like I would say this is probably like mid thigh kind of a situation. And it has this really cute little Kate Spade um, thinger. What does she have? A spade. Logo? Oh. Super cute. There is like a little. What's a logo? What's a logo? There's a little spot on the back of one of the sleeves, but I have yet to watch this just because it is a little chunkier. And that's a extra small, small, which is nice. Then this is my kind of like transitional piece. This is a women's North Face size small, and it's just this nice gray. It's a little washed, like you can tell she washed it a couple of times, but it's like not a jacket. It's like one of those lined like sweatshirts. Those cotton quilts. It's like ones. Terry on the front, or like Jersey, I guess on the front. And then it has this really nice kind of like fleece lining on the inside. These are everywhere in the spring. The, the Minnesota moms have these in like the orange one I see all the time. And then there's like a cream one that I see all the time too. And it's a lot Super like cute. those free people quilted, like mm -hmm. those like dolman bomber sleeve, jackets, whatever they were. Yeah. yeah, it reminds me of those. This was an exciting find. This is a Lululemon, a Lululemon like sweater. A haunted Lululemon? A little bit. Lululemon. She's a ghost. Um, here is the little doodad on it. I haven't found the name for this one yet, but I think it's a little newer just because the style. And it's so soft. It's such a nice sweater. Definitely it's so cotton. cute. Oh yeah. I think it even says like 100% cotton, which this is weird. I've never seen a little lemon item do. with a tag in it. A lot of I never have. 100% cotton. Perfect. I knew it. Okay, I got one more sweater because I have no self-control. This is a Northern Reflections. I think I called it Northern oh, I love Isles. The logo. Like in the in the thrift with us. If you were fat, so you would have saw. This is a medium. Yes, the tag is super cute. Very Minnesotan. <laughs> it has a little loon on it, but this sweater is the moment. This is so cute. It's like kind of fall, but also kind of spring and also kind of winter and also not really summer because sweaters, but it's so cute with all these little flowers on it. And it has this like heathered little teal situation. And there is nary a hole anywhere on this, which is so nary. nary a Isn't hole. it nary? Nary a hole. Okay. So I will do my last little group of five or six items. This is a curse. So, <laughs> cut to a week ago. Cut, cut to Tuesday. No, cut to two days ago when we did Ooh. a NOLO video and we were talking about all the brands that we shouldn't be grabbing, only at the bins, but ones that we don't really like to sell anymore. Mm -hmm. Marrakesh was on that list. 
in like the first five. And what do you know? One of the first things I found when I was there was this Marrakesh Leopard oh, Sherpa Moto. She got you. Back in the day, probably could have got like a good 80 or something for it. Now I literally saw someone sold this for 10. So this is probably going to the consignment Maybe. store. Maybe. I'll probably list it for a little while. I mean, they are nice. They just don't cute. sell. No. Also, it's not even in here because I already have it in the consignment pile. I found a freaking lovers and friends dress. Like right after that. All and I was like, are the you brands kidding that me? were like, goodbye. And then they're like, just kidding. <laughs> when One I, final hurrah. When I say <laughs> bolos, I'm trying to manifest them. When I say no lows, I'm trying to not I'm trying to repel yet them. the opposite happens. Why? So my next one is a brand that I'm trying for the second time, even though I tried it for the first time like two weeks ago. And it's <laughs> Faherty. Farty. <laughs> and this is a size medium. It is a cotton dress and it's oh, that cute. like slubbed oh. cotton. Good for spring, yeah. Mm -hmm. This is like a gray and it's probably, it's definitely maxi length. Oh, There's yeah. a light bit of lightning right there. Very tiny and very hard to notice. Like if you weren't under studio lights, you probably wouldn't notice You would be able to see it. But I'm pretty excited because when I tried Farty, Farty. last time I sold it like within a few days after I got it. Good. Then I love this. My proper. first time finding this brand. So this oh, is a really pretty fun summer spring romper. Yeah. With the little cutouts on the side. Completely clean. Yes. Mm -hmm. It ties on the back and then it ties around your neck as well. And this is by the Bolo brand, Mara Hoffman. Ryan has tried Mara, I Hoffman, love Mara Hoffman quite a few times and I've never. Her swimwear does amazing. Yeah. I think that's kind of what she's like she known for. She makes very summer and swim mm -hmm. and whatever. Yeah. So this is a size six and I think it's very pretty and I'm excited to Super try cute. it. This is a silk dress and it's by, oh my gosh, I gotta say it. Dion Ball Surf and Turf. We have not said that in a millennia. No. It has been so long. So this is a size four and I think this is actually really, really cute. It's good for the spring. If it's I really cute. find Dion Ball Surf and Turf, she's one that I only get at the bins too. Next Nolo mm -hmm. video. But I sell it myself or consign it because the real real either like Marks declines it, it or makes it a dollar. Yeah. So that's cute. Then we have a St. John piece. And all of these like really good ones were from like the same rotation with that hat. Mm -hmm. So this is a size small. And I think this is so adorable. Look I really like the color combo. It's a great spring or Easter blue. Yeah. With a little bit of black just to kind of like. And in the same bin was actually a pair of black St. John pants, but those are going to the real real because they were just black. I wonder if it was This set. is cute. I don't, I don't know, but that. this is a small and the pants were a 14, which is a very different size. So they probably other. were not then. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Maybe it's like two sisters that both like Two Saint sisters. Jones. Then we have this really, really cute. This is like exactly what I was trying to manifest. Mm -hmm. This is an anthro top and it's cute. that by anthro label. They're so rolled up that I won't be able to show you. But <laughs> you know what those little gray tags look like. It's a you size small. Them. I do know that, but I love these colors. Mm -hmm. I feel like every time I have like a lavender, I'm just like, this is such a pretty color. I love, I want to get a pair of like like jeans that are checkerboard with like orange and lavender. I have a pair I think that'd be really pretty. of one of those shoes. Um, some pair of shoes, they're like a running shoe that can get wet and they're in lavender and I have them liked on Posh and they're so cute. Interesting. Last for me, another great brand. If you don't know it, please write it down in the Bolo notebook. It is the great, another great brand. The great. The great. I love that. Size zero, which I think probably means small. And this is an adorable oh, puff so sleeve sweatshirt. Oh. And it's a, really cute. it's a lighter sweatshirt, so you definitely could wear it in the spring and honestly, probably mm -hmm. even to the summer. How cute would that be with <sighs> those top shop overalls? That'd be oh, an adorable yeah, that little outfit. Be That'd be or so just cute. some like cute flare jeans yeah. or something. Next up for me is another kid's item. So this harkens back to my time at Disney in January. These are very expensive. Oh <laughs> yeah, so it's a Disney 7-8. But how cool is this like little moto jacket that is. for like a little kid? It has like Lightning McQueen and the piston cup on it. And then it has like the Rusties on the side and his little number. And then in the back, it has all the stuff on it. The lightning These are zipper. so cool. These are also like expensive. Any of this like character specific kind of more substantial stuff is like 60, 70, $80. It's ridiculously expensive. And, and I feel bad that my parents got trapped into buying me all that crap when I was a kid. And usually <laughs> as soon as they don't sell anymore, it just skyrockets. Yeah, literally. And so you have a kid that likes Lady McQueen. Perfect. This is a really cute Zara piece. It's a size XL. 
this tag has never wanted to focus anytime this top has gone on camera. But it's kind of hard to hold up because it's one of those like ones where there's a lot of room for the shoulder. Cuff. Yeah. Oof. But it has this really cute little mandarin collar as I'm really struggling to hold this thing up. It's oh just my. spinning It's in literally circles. just spinning. Okay, there we go. Kind of. Really cute little mandarin collar. I love these little like not detail buttons. This top is just so cute. Yeah, with these like, like really buttons. I know with these big old cuffs. This is very springtime to me with like a cute little pair of like jeans and like a little like shoe. Adorable. A little shoe. Just a little shoe. Like a little black shoe. This is something else I was very excited about. It is Ralph Lauren, Lauren by Ralph Lauren, size large. It is this really pretty green paisley tiered maxi skirt. And it <laughs> like takes up. I was gonna say, I love paint. that there's like, they did one of those things where they like added a little bit of extra fabric to the bottom tier. It's so pretty. And I think these on Depop last summer did really well. So I'm gonna like shoot my shot and see what this one does. I put that on pause. Oh, I absolutely will. This is another pair of aloe leggings. These just need a little bit of depilling. I think this is something in the goddess, goddess line. Prop, maybe? I have no idea. Um, these are also a little older just because they have the little swoop over the O and there is no size. Looks unfortunately. Like yeah, I was gonna say they're probably both the size. Like a four. Yeah. And then last but not least, I will show this. This is a Vince tank top. This is the older label, but this is 100% silk. And I just thought this was really pretty. Again, spring. I know. That's like a good- It's really cute. And it has this little piece. like layered detail to it. There is not a single run on this thing, or which stained. was shocking to me. I know. I was like, this is in such nice condition. I just need to like- <laughs> I'm suspicious. I literally just need to like get this to get this, honestly. That's even if it suspicious. doesn't sound. That's suspicious. It's weird. Yeah. Okay. That was fun. Yes, it was. So I hope you guys enjoyed our haul. As usual, let us know what your top three favorite things were that we tell found. Me. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I always I love, love to know. read those. Let us know if you liked having us both back for our bins yeah. haul. I liked it. It was fun. I had a good time. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun to bins. So I think, I think, were you talking about that next week you probably can go to the bins too? Maybe? But Maybe. Ryan will probably be a little more frequent again. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. We have President's Day, and since I'm only teaching every other, the President Day knocked off my fifth day, so I only teach Tuesday, Thursday mm -hmm. next week too. Yeah, you'll definitely nice. be on the Tuesday video next week. You'll be yes. on Saturday. Yes, so I will. That's And great. I see Maggie Rogers on Saturday. Cheers to that. I can't wait. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your Thursday. Like I said, let us know what's your favorite three things were that we found. And we will see you either tomorrow on the second channel when I yes. finally put up a freaking thrifted furniture decor video or I'm so excited to see that or on Saturday for what's on Saturday. Goodbye. Goodbye.